Okay, this is going to be your book review for a phenomenal book by a pretty well-known author. And I was so surprised at um, the book. It's Shine by Lauren Miracle. And this book, straight out, is a 5 out of 5. This book is phenomenal. Um, I haven't checked if anyone else has read this or wrote, did a book video on this. But I'll probably check now that I'm done reading it. But this is really good. Let me tell you a little bit about this awesome book. Um, it takes place in Black Creek, which is a small southern town, I think, in North Carolina or South Carolina, one of the two. And 16-year-old Cat is telling the story. It's told through her point, her point of view. Um, her best, one of her best friends, Patrick, is left to die, but he was hit over the head with a baseball bat and tied to a gas pump where he worked at with, um, some hateful slurs across his chest, um, and she's trying to figure out what happened to her friend, and everyone in this town kind of thinks it's an out-of-town thing, uh, out-of-town hate crime, like, but Kat doesn't think that, so she's trying to do her own investigation, because the police in this town are really ridiculous, but anyway, along, going along with that, Kat is also holding on to a secret that happened years ago when she was 13. And it kind of all evolves, unvo uh, revolves around these group of, these group of kids. So, she, you learn about what she's hiding and how that kind of intertwines with what happened to Patrick and that kind of whole thing. And Black Creek is a town where everyone knows everybody, everyone knows everyone's business, and it's kind of like turn the other cheek kind of thing if they see something happening, and there's so many unique elements within the story, sorry that was just a side note, but anyway, things get really interesting when Kat um, receives a little threatening gift left in her room, kind of just implying for her to stay away, and she doesn't need to find out what happened to Patrick, just leave it alone, but that doesn't startle her one bit that just makes her want to find out more because this is her friend and she feels guilty because once this event happened to her three years ago she kind of pulled away from everybody and wanted the ugly things to go away and she slowly learns that the ugly things do not go away so this book is phenomenal it has so many different elements in it like you have the two separate plots going on which are so good like you read one chapter, and then it's really, literally, really hard to stop because of the fact that um, there's so much, and you just want to keep reading and finding out what happens. The characters in there, like, there's just a limited amount of characters in the book. It's basically forming around these group of um, kids, and since there's a limited amount of characters, you get to know them quite well. Um, bits and pieces throughout the story and there's characters you like and there's characters that are just obnoxious and ridiculous but yes and I think the setting um, placing it in such a small town where they don't have a lot of adva technical advances and it's kind of almost old fashioned-ish kind of um, it kind of helps with the whole topic and like keeping secrets and turning cheeks when things happen and that kind of thing so like this is so good I cannot say enough good things about it um yes it's a lot different from her other books I've only read like the TTYL series and Bliss a long time ago but this just seems so serious and dramatic and just very elegantly written that I was just really surprised that um Lauren Miracle could write this way so it just kind of surprised me but it's really good. I recommend this completely. Um, it's just so good. It's unlike anything I've ever read before. It's really, really good. Um, there's twists and turns and things you wouldn't have thought. Like, toward the beginning, you, as you're getting to know these people, you wouldn't have thought that this is what happened and everything. And the ending was such a surprise that yes, it's so good. Um, now I want to just talk about the visual aspects of the book because that just is the topping on the cake because that just makes it even more incredible. For one, I know it's shiny, but the cover is so cool. 
And then also, the way it starts out, just how could you not, when you see this, how could you not just want um, to continue reading? Like, this is how it starts out with this newspaper article here. Like, just seeing that, how do you, how do you not want to keep reading it? Anyway, each chapter has this design on the pages, which is similar to the front with the flower. And each, like, day, because it kind of is broken up into days, because it doesn't take place, I think it's over, like, three weeks, but it has this spread, which is hard to see through the camera, but, um, it's got, um, like, a picture, a black and white picture of, um, kind of a place that's talked about in the book, so I think that just makes it even better, because it's, yes, it adds to the elegance of the book, and the text is average and everything. It's 350 pages of pure, like, um, awesomeness. So I am recommending Shine by Lauren Miracle so much. Um, I'm so happy I had read this. Like, I kind of, when I picked up the library, I kind of just picked it up because it was by Lauren Miracle, and I'm like, oh, you know, I wasn't really sure what it was about, but I'm so glad I read this. Oops. So, yeah. Definitely pick up shine you won't be sorry um also thank you for any new subscribers that have subscribed and uh, yes thanks for watching bye